Vintage Hotties 1 Biography of Barbara Hi, I'm Barbara from Vintage Hotties 1, and today I just wanted to share my bio with you and tell you a little bit about me and where I came from and how my career got started in vintage. So bear with me as I read through this. Um, but I actually wrote this about myself. So I refer to myself as Barbara. And um, once again, um, it's my bio. So I just want to share my story with everybody so that they have like a clear understanding of um, what drives vintage hotties one. And um, so here it is. So Barbara grew up in City of Industry. She was adopted at the age of six weeks along with her sibling sister. Raised and adopted by her grandparents, the grandparents who were refugees brought, for, brought to this country in 1941. After living and surviving many European wars, including the early takeover of 1910, the Battle of Great Poland, her grandparents raised five boys through the Great Depression and migrated out of Chicago to California. And this is where Barbara was adopted after being found by the police abandoned with her sibling in a cold, darkened room of the home where her once parents resided. Barbara's life of thrifting began in her early childhood Money was tight and her grandparents, excuse me, money was tight for her grandparents, but as pennies were counted, the two siblings never lacked the basic needs. Barbara's life thrifting began early into her childhood and, and these were the days for Barbara when, these were the good days for Barbara when Barbara went out shopping, thrifting for child children's clothing. Barbara, in her early ages, would sift through piles of used clothing and shoes. Even then, at an early age, Barbara lacked none in style and fashion. Growing up, she had an eye for style and adored the artifacts in the home she visited. She would gaze in reverence, but never felt incomplete. With age, the time spent thrifting only grew and grew. At the age of seven, maybe eight, she mentioned her own, she mended her own clothing, creating her own sense of fashion and design. When Barbara was in her middle teens, she fascinated about having a booth of vintage home goods located in antique stores selling home goods and she grew up adoring and becoming and making this her bucket list later into her adult life of years and years of thrifting collecting vintage antiques and clothing she invested her hard-earned money going on shopping sprays that calm her anxieties she stated it was far less than paying for mental health therapy. Having this sense of style, she managed to look very high styled even when wearing a flannel and jeans. She would add beaded vintage handbags, leather shoes, and belts, matching it up with beaded jewelry, a head turner from all who crossed her path. And though many years have passed, the thrifting continued. As social media grew, she watched countless media videos of people thrifting. She began to study the art of vintage and antiques. She was impressed with the quality and the craftsmanship, pieces that sustained decades and still held its luster. She was fashioned, <clears throat> she was fascinated of all who crossed her path. 
And though many years have passed, the thrifting continues. Barbara, in her late 40s, acquired to invest and bring her childhood passion to life, and while alive, living, began to live out her bucket list by opening up a business and achieved her goals when she opened up an antique booth and an online store. While she works full-time to manage her bucket list antique passion, she's obtained a sizable file of storage. With fun thrifted merchandise, she calls this her survival stock. Barbara opened up Vintage Hotties 1 in 2020, learning e-commerce retail. Much sweet tears plagued her dreams of becoming a successful vintage, vintage retailer. However, persistence and patience, she won't give in. Barbara has held her booth located in Redlands, known under the space 720. There she displayed themed vignettes and designed for holidays and seasons. Today's Barbara's imagination still grows more and more creative in her own mind, and she contemplates scripted DIYs to share her design skill levels. She's expanded her collection to capture fashion, jewelry, housewares, and displayed in stylish settings. Um, hang on, I'm turning the page. Still turning. Excuse me. <laughs> Barbara's motto is never give in and never give up. Just keep moving. She says, cry for a half hour, if you may, stating a half hour is plenty of time to clear your mind and rethink your ways and just keep moving forward. Barbara can be found on eBay, YouTube, and at VintageHotties1.com. Barbara's favorite housewares are fruits and vegetables, ceramics, Repurposed to use collectibles, mostly in the kitchen. She says, if it's a cluster of grapes, make grape juice. She's also a big fan of milk glass and fancies amber glass because her favorite season is the fall. Barbara is a certified designer, works hard for her living, and like I said, she can be found at Vintage Hotties 1. Barbara actually grew up in a very deprived um, education, and as unfortunate circumstances had turned, she was uneducated of reading and writing and was considered illiterate. Um, after countless years of trying to learn to read, learn to write, she became a successful reader and writer by the age of 25. Barbara was illiterate up until the age of 23 and had difficulty with reading and writing to the point that she had a third grade education. Barbara managed to go to school, get her, her certificate in fashion design while fighting illiteracy. It was her gifted talents that brought her through fashion design and interior design studies so she was able to pick up on these things based on see and hear more or less and made it through at the top of her class however with her education and the system she grew up with they pushed her through her high school years so she was able to have that basic education but still have a literacy so many people today still suffer the same way of not being able to read and write. It's mostly an age group of mid-50s, because um, during that time, education was not as pronounced as it is today. Barbara helps to fight illiteracy 
by taking the time to teach others how to be in business in e-commerce. She passions it with all her might, and she has a gift of an eye of what to buy that'll bring in profit. So I am Barbara Potius, and this is my life, and this is my bio, and I'm a proud owner of Vintage Hotties One. Thank you for listening to this very, very much. Um, this is something that I don't share often, but I am making it public because I feel it's important to show people how far they can come if they just set their persistence and go forward in it. So with ha no further ado, I just want to continue to present this business. And so please like and share and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and watch me grow and become more and more talented in my gifts. I am learning and I am a work in progress and that's okay for me and for you. So together we shall grow and go. Some selfies taken of me through the journey of vintage hotties.
staring at herself in the mirror on the restroom door. Voices in her head that mirror what she's heard before. All the things they said to hold her back, they never seem to leave her head and tend to keep her mind at war. All the things they said to hold her back, they keep her locked inside of all the times when she's been hurt before. Her eyes are swollen as she tries to hold her tears back. Mm -hmm. These are just a few beautiful photos of just some greenery and some locations that I passion to visit and hopefully one day may find some foundation to lay some asphalt down and have my place of home and rest where I can actually enjoy every day this beautiful scenery that just drifts on by the California hills of Cala Mesa. So breathtaking. One has to see, to believe in the springtime of Cala Mesa. So amazing. So this is my studio session area and my personal office where I keep my business attire going. Um, I work on my photo shoots here on my desk um, right now these are some of the collectibles that I'm going to just be popping into the store they're all going to be small items um, some arbitrage right there also um, yeah just trying to get the set ready for my current um, inventory that I'm bringing in to the store and um so this is a new setup that i just got i'm pretty excited about it I actually will take excellent photographs so yeah that'll work definitely um anyways i love this setup i recommend this setup and who's it by so this is m's deal m's deal and um i actually found it in a google search and it has the front obviously the photo station there um and then it has we can do an upper shoot oops sorry for the noise where you can just snap down on it there so that's pretty cool pretty excited about that and i'm starting to get some inventory together and did my sorting earlier and that went well that's all sorted out now um so yeah just like you know my personal space very light and tight but it works for me and that actually brings me joy this is my new piece to my collection today I actually finally got it picked up I'm pretty excited about it it was actually meant for a friend but lo and behold tights turned so I did the next best thing and got him another one anyway um, so this one's gonna be kept with me um, this is my favorite saying in the whole wide world. Um, how great would life be if we lived a little of it every day? So yeah, that's, that's something to 
think about, right? And then my other saying is, um, today is the tomorrow you worried about um, yesterday. So that's pretty cool. Um, it was funny because I found this the day after New Year's. And on New Year's, that was my resolution. And so it became that. So yeah, little weird things like this always happen. But um, yeah, so anyways, this is really cute leftover from Christmas. Um, it was arbitrage at Ross. So they're actually gloss red shot glasses. I thought those were so adorable. So I'm going to break them down and do like a Valentine, probably mystery box. Um, and include these in it as well, which are so pretty. I don't know if you get it, but yeah, there it is. So, so pretty. That's going to be part of the mystery box. Um, so yeah, so this again, it's my space. This is my mannequin that I'm going to be displaying clothes on while doing video shoots and photographs. And I have another set of uh, mannequin hands and things to feature my um, displays when doing my photo shoot. So, yep, getting started on the right track. I'm pretty excited. Um, you guys have a great day and just know that I love you with all my heart.